the bottom line is that we don't face the battle alone. And we're supposed to communicate that to one another. The verbs and pronouns of all these passages point to us together. We all face the same battles. We all face them together. The Lord is saying through Paul, we're not to look on spiritual warfare as something we face alone. We can only win in community and with other believers. When we gather with believers, we are to talk about God's word. We're supposed to talk about, I mean, just like the, the, the bicyclists talk about their, their lighter bike with 87 gears, you know, and, and they can actually go fast uphill because of whatever. We say, yeah, I'm struggling with this, but boy, the Lord has really shown me this. And someone goes, really? Well, I'm struggling with that too. And, and, and we, we begin to encourage and edify and build up and exhort one another. That's God's plan. And we can only win when we're in community with other believers, when we talk about his promises, when we can honestly talk about his work in us. But why is it talk? Because it's our voices that Jesus empowers. Do you understand that God has chosen the mechanism for the exhortation and encouragement and edification of believers to be our voices speaking the truth we have personally experienced. And when we speak it, it's Christ's power that changes them. It's the most amazing thing to see. We were designed to operate best inside a Christ-shaped community of believers. A group of believers that are conformed to the image of Christ, and we operate within that context, and as we look at them, we see all the ways that Christ wants to conform us and hasn't, or that Christ has conformed us and not them. And it's like being on the truck and saying, you forgot your helmet. Because we all wear helmets into the fire. You don't have your tank on, or you don't have your hose, or you don't have your face mask. Don't go in the fire. You're going to breathe the smoke. It will destroy your lungs. And, and see, we... We do that because of love, and we, we pay attention to one another. The description of spiritual warfare is a shared personal battle. The most pronounced view of this is when we look at the shield. This we must carry, we must use our own shield, but others around us remind us and even help us. Do you remember when, when Moses was sitting up on the rock and Aaron and Hur had to hold up his arms so that Joshua would win out there in the battle? Do you think that God needed Moses to have his arms up in order for Joshua to win? Do you think God was tied to Moses' arms? No. It was a picture. God does it all. But he wants us to see that we have to uphold one another, work as a team. Moses couldn't do it alone. Joshua couldn't do it alone. Aaron and Hur couldn't do it alone. It had to be the, the community, the, the connectedness that God was showing for the battle. Just like Moses needed his arms held up, so we need one another.